Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. I have returned to Monte di Gioni to start my next mission, but while I'm here I actually might want to return my feathers because I totally forgot that last episode and I collected quite a few. There we go and it does increase the value as well. 22 so still a long way to go but yeah um, I think I need to go back to the study for my next mission and while I'm here I should probably empty the chest and now that I have money again let's reinvest it Buongiorno. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Si, por favor. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, I upgraded the merchant, the art merchant, the blacksmith and the tailor because um, I get a discount if I do that. Um, but I guess I can start to renovate a few of these things as well. So sure, let's renovate the brothel. Any self-respecting city needs one, right? And to balance it, let's renovate the church as well. <laughs> okay, um, I think I have money for one more renovation. How about the military barracks? Okay, I think I'll keep the rest of my money. Alright, um, I increased the value by quite a bit. But now let's have a look at the next mission. Ezio! <laughs> come in, come in! To what do we owe the honor? Um, I guess we need to talk about something? I've been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. Looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah! Let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's <laughs> reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now. If you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. Okay. Evasive maneuvers. Meet Mario on the practice field to train. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Alright, Ezio. You're familiar with counter-attacking. But what happens when your enemy is as well? Good question. I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection <laughs> against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro. Teach me what <laughs> to do. Now dodge. Okay, how See do I do that? Trial. Enjoy the ride down to hell. Okay, I need to log on and now left mouse button and I think that's space. Ah, bene, okay. Bene. Now do it again. Much I better. See. One last time now. now. Okay, that's easy enough. And now I need to disarm. Okay, lock. And left mouse button and now the right mouse button. Ah, here we go. Let's see it another time. Okay. Lock on. And I probably need to time it right, huh? Dying just to follow all. There we go. 
Just one more time, Ezio. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, I need to time it just right, but this actually worked. There we go. Once again, you exceed my expectations. Well, thank you. Signore, we found the Arcopus men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. In Terzi. It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. Okay, um, we learned a few new tricks. I'm not sure how useful um, the disarm is. I mean, I have my own sword. But then again, I guess I can take the enemy's sword away, right? Anyway, where do I have to go now? Oh, we're going back to Tuscany. Okay. Sure, let's do that. Let's find Jacobus Leckies. <laughs> um, I have been doing some shopping uh, before starting this episode. I have a new medicine pouch. And my armor is pretty much um, the highest I can currently get. So I don't need to do any shopping at the moment. But um, I'll grab another horse. And off we go. Um, yes, I want to go to San Gimignano. Okay, now we're back here um, with a city that has like a modern skyline because of the quote-unquote skyscrapers. <laughs> um, but where exactly do I have to go? Ah, I see. I have various missions here. Four of them. And I definitely need to <gasps> visit a few viewpoints. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to start with this one and I'll do the mission next to it. And apparently um, I have some notoriety. That must be from my recent visit because I haven't done anything since I came back here. <laughs> I guess it's that church over here. I see a flying eagle, so I guess this is the viewpoint. Oh, and it has a glyph. Let me have a look at the database entry. Monte Olivetto Maggiore. Founded in 1313 by Bernardo Tolomei, the monastery of Monte Olivetto Maggiore is Benedictine in practice. Benedictine monks are the most mainstream, practicing peace, prayer and work, while living in autonomous communities with their own local government. Monte Olivetto Maggiore owned most of the land in the Siena region, so having its own private government would come in handy when dealing with such riches, as would a good lawyer. <laughs> Fortunately, Bernardo Tolomei was a jurist, leaving the monastery in a very lucrative state by the time he died. Okay, um, interesting. So, yeah, let's have a look for that glyph. Oh, I do see a feather over there. Guess I should grab that one too, lest I forget. Right here we go. Another feather. And now let's look for glyphs before I climb up that tower. Ooh! I guess it could be in one of these courtyards. Um, maybe I'm going to climb the tower first. Maybe this gives me a better view of 
the place and where to find the glyph. Oh, well, um, <laughs> I think I just found it. Okay, sure, let's have a look at it. Keep on seeking and you will find. First plucked from a tree guarded by a snake, its powers perform miracles. Then, worn across the ages, torn asunder, hidden under a sea of red, reconstruct a timeline. What does that mean? I mean, that sounds like the Apple of Eden, but the keyword is red. So let's have a look at all of these images. So Joseph Egypt, Jason Greece, Jesus Christ Jerusalem, Henry VIII England, David and Goliath Valley of Elah, Christ Disrobe Jerusalem, Jean Paul Marat France, Prometheus Greece, Hannibal Carthage, Saint Francis Borgia Spain, and Joseph again. Um, well, a few of them were quite prominent red robes, so maybe that is the thing I'm looking for. Like this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, I need one more though. One more red robe. Huh. Would this count? I mean, it's not really red, but it does depict um, the description, you know, a tree and a snake. And does it have to be in the chronological proper order because I, I'm supposed to reconstruct the timeline? Let's see. Okay, apparently it does not have to be chronologically. Okay. What is this? They took it. Okay, I guess this is what I'm looking for. Shroud! Okay, it's a shroud. And that's it. File unlocked. Okay, and yeah, sure, I get another fragment of the video. But um, it doesn't really add any new information. But okay, we found another glyph. And now let's climb this viewpoint. Can't go up here. But this should work. Alright, synchronize. And jump. Okay, now that we have done this, let's have a look at our mission. Which is right over here. Oh, this guy. Okay, let's talk. Ah, there you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. Okay. My thanks, friend. The cowl does not make the monk infiltrate the abbey and kill Stefano da Bagna Bagnona. Okay, but what did you just give me? And is it this abbey over here? Smoke bombs. Oh, I have smoke bombs now. Are these the smoke bombs? Smoke bombs will stun and blind your enemies. Okay, um, I will try to use them. And yeah, apparently I have to infiltrate this abbey over here now. Alright, let's have a look. 
Um, the monks over there, it looks like they're carrying swords. That is very unmonkish, but they're totally carrying swords. Oh, and they're suspicious. Um, let me take some cover here. Use your eagle vision to identify the guards hidden amongst the monks. Oh, they're not monks, they're guards. I see. Kill your target before it takes refuge in the abbey. Um, well, I probably can't just stroll inside there. <laughs> uh, let's climb back to the roof. Because um, it has like a courtyard in the inside. So maybe I can see where my target is hiding. And we do not have any guards on the roofs. Let us pray, brother. Pray? Pray for what? The Lord's protection. If you think the Lord has I'm not any seeing him here. our affairs, you've another thing coming. But please, by all means, continue ah, to delude yourself if it helps to pass the time. You speak blasphemy. No, I speak truth. But to deny it. Um, I have, I have an idea. Can I jump into that haystack with without people that noticing? Some invisible yes, I can. In the sky. And so, um, I will try my new smoke bombs to see how they work. Believe me, and then I will go and the kill the guy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that worked pretty well. Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacobo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Okay. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. What does that mean? Shadow of the Roman gods. And oh yeah, I probably need to make a run for it now. Let's do this. Use a smoke bomb for an easy escape. Yeah, um that's what I've done, I think, but uh, my my escape route is hindered by the edge of the map, so I need to run over here, maybe. Okay, that worked. Alright, I think that went down pretty well. Smoke bomb pouch required, so I can use smoke bombs now. And um, I've seen some horses, I believe, over here. So maybe I should grab one of those. So he said they meet in the shadows of the Roman gods. Which doesn't really help me much because this is Italy. I'm sure you will find old statues of Roman gods everywhere, right? So I'm not sure if this is the information I need. Um, yeah, let's see what to do next. Uh, we have a viewpoint over here, but this one doesn't seem that important. Um, I'll check that out later. Instead, uh, let's head over to our next target. And maybe once I'm done with that, um, I will visit a few more viewpoints yeah. to unfog the map. I mean... I will probably trim this a little bit, you know, once I've done the story missions and then I'm just going to um, uncover all the map and all the viewpoints. I know some people are like, you know, you don't need to edit edit anything, um, it's fine, we just watch you walk around, <laughs> but at some point you just run out of stuff to talk about, so I'm just running around in silence and I think that doesn't make for good entertainment. Um, yeah, we have another one of the running guys. Apparently, I can tackle them and it gives me money. So, maybe I should try this at some point. Oh no, leave me alone. Why Why are there so many bards here? Come on, this, this is just ridiculous. Uh, okay, I lost the bards. Now let's find our next mission. Um, 
this is not my main mission. No, this is like one of the side missions, I guess. A courier assignment. Yeah, I'm not going to do that at the moment. God help me! Stay back, Finn! <laughs> I, I'm not really interested in chasing you at the moment. Okay, that's him. Let's talk to him. Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncelli. Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Okay. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. <laughs> like Eagle Vision. Nice tattoos, by the way. Anyway, uh, next mission, come out and play. Locate and assassinate Bernardo Baroncelli. And he's somewhere in the city. Okay. Um... Oh, well, apparently it's a bit more specific than that. It's somewhere over here. Alright, um... I will try to reach the target area. And then we'll see what we can do. Oh, I'm not seeing him around here. You're not allowed through. Go! Oh! That's a bunch of guards. Um, yeah, I may have to approach this via rooftop, but oh, we have another guard over here. Why? Why so many guards? I may have to dispose of this guy, but uh, Let you it. people will probably notice. Yeah! People will definitely notice. So let me make an escape here before I try again. Can probably hide in here. Alright. So apparently the whole area is very well guarded with a bunch of very twitchy guards. Become aggressive very quickly. <laughs> so. I may have to hire some help to deal with these guards. Oh, what happened to him? I guess he fell down because I didn't kill him. It was me! It was me! Seriously, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh dear. But I still got notoriety for it, apparently. That's not fair at all. I didn't do that. Um, but maybe I should get one of these posters to reduce my notoriety before I attempt this mission again. <laughs> um, I see one over here. Okay, here we go. So, I guess I'm going to try this again. Well, maybe I should hire the thieves over here to help me. And yeah, I see even more guards over here. Let me try to find a good place to view the entire area. Like on top of this tower. Oh no, oh no. This is not going to go well. Um, maybe the thieves can Distract that guard. Hold tight. Work your magic. There we go. 
you deal with him and I tr try to climb this tower again. Oh, we have some treasures over here as well. Alright. Okay, now let's have a look at the situation. Oh! Again! Another guard that died, but it's not my fault. <laughs> so, we have guards blocking the entrance over here. And probably on the other side as well. But, um... Now that the guard is gone, I can probably try to make my way onto the roof and then enter that place. Um, can you please let me pass? Ah, there we go. That is my target. If it happens, I keep moving. Never in one place for long. Only, only um, okay, how do I get there? Where to sleep? The guard tower, perhaps. They think we're mad. They don't know. I'll pay them, yes. Then what will it matter? All they care about is coin. This? Like... Or anyone cares about this coin. Oh, he's moving. Good okay. Good for me. Safer this way. Yes. Um... Yes, I'll ask, and then... I will try to get into that we'll haystack. We'll meet when it's time. If I can do that without getting detected. There we go. What is that? I saw something. come to spy on me. And now I'm no. waiting for him no. to come Just a little bit nerves. closer. Hard to stay calm, knowing that he seeks me. And I must stay focused. I'll make my and attack. This will be so. Alright, um well I may have He's here! a little bit too early here, but I think this is going to work. There we go. I knew you would come. Where is Jacobo? So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. At a church? Well, that could be anywhere. Um, but, yeah, now I need to get away from here. Because I have like five million guards on my tail now. This is... Um, yeah. How can I escape this? Maybe if I jump over the city wall, would this help? Okay. That isn't so bad. Can I hide here, please? Thank you. Alright, so, um, that's the second target. But again, his information wasn't all that useful. I mean, a church. <laughs> that could be anywhere. Uh, but we still have two more targets to kill. Um, one of them is over here. So, let's check this one out. But I definitely have to visit a few viewpoints to uncover more of that map before I start that mission. So what would be the next viewpoint? Probably the one over here. I just need to find a good way to reach it. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. I suppose I didn't see you <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Okay, um... Got one viewpoint over here. So let's uncover that before we do anything else. Oh, I think I'm not... Getting up here. Nope. Oh! Uh, feather! 
take the feather. And yeah, this should work, I hope. Um, okay, maybe I can climb up here. Um, not really. Oh, but this works. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's synchronize. Alright, and now we have, well, not a full map of the city. I definitely need to visit that one as well. But maybe we can uh, check out our next mission before we do that. So let's go down again. And find our next informant. This place is kinda hard to navigate. It is very maze-like. <laughs> Also, it seems like there is another assassin's tomb over here. And another database entry. Palazzo Comunale. Palazzo Comunale, San Gimignano's town hall, was built as a seat of the municipal government in 1288. As befits the city of Taos, one of the council's earliest acts inside their new home was to construct the Tor de Grosso on top. The Podesta took up residence at the Palazzo Comunale in 1337. Okay. Um, by the way, have I missed any database entries? No, I have not. That's the last one. Okay, um, we need to talk to this guy and... Oh, hang on a second. Got another one and another glyph. Santa Maria Assunta. Referred to as the Duomo by locals, even though it doesn't deserve the title because the town has no bishop, Santa Maria Assunta was built in the 12th century. Shockingly, it has no tower, although in San Gimignano, the city of towers, such an act of celibacy coming from a church was probably a smart move. <laughs> okay. Interesting. And. I think I already see the uh, glyph, but I got yet another um, new entry. Torre Grossa, rising 54 meters above San Gimignano, the city's largest tower, the Torre Grossa, lives up to its name. Unlike some of the other towers, it even has a bell inside it. Constructed of the construction of the Torre Grossa began in 1300 and finished 1311. All right. And yeah, that one apparently has a tomb. And this over here is another glyph, I guess. Yes, it is. Marius. Tsar Nicholas II, Russia. Okay, um... Oh. Strange binary code. But whatever I'm looking for is apparently inside the staff because the noise is going crazy here. There we go, Peace of Eden. Jean of Arc. Alright. She has a staff as well. Well, it's a flag, but... Oh yeah, and another weird coat. And I'm looking for... Something inside the sword? Yep. Um, okay. What is this? This is Rasputin? Looks like it. Oh! Fire! <laughs> um, I guess she was burned, right? Yeah, she was. <laughs> they took it. And then, yeah, Rasputin. Without the star here, the Tsar was powerless. He could no longer control his subjects. Revolution! Revolution! <laughs> so Rasputin took the 
Charles piece of Eden and that's why the revolution happened? Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's have a look at another fragment. And yeah, I still only see like two naked people running. They may be running from something because, I mean, she's like looking back. As if to see if they're being followed. But that's really all I can get at the moment. Alright, um, we found yet another glyph. So let's talk to our next informant here. Salute, Ezio! Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Hm. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You'd do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information. Okay. Town Crier. Assassinate Antonio Maffei on top of a tower in San Gimignano. Um, alright. But where exactly do I have to go? It's over here. I thought the Torre Grossa was the highest tower, but apparently he's over here. Um, okay, sure. Let's see what we can do. And no, 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 leave me alone. Leave me alone, stupid bards. Come and eat you. This week I'm almost giving my labor away. Um, I don't want to mess with these guys. Let's find another way to approach this tower. Oh, I can't climb up here for some reason. That's a pity. But I think I can't climb up here. Alright, here we go. Um... Yeah, I guess it's this tower over here. And I think I can already hear him talking. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, that's him, I suppose. Um... Climbing these towers is you like a maze. You need to find the right path. And this draws the demons in to feed. And feed they will. Always Can't go up anymore, but I can probably climb up here. Yes. And now shimmy around the corner. To save these lands, to purify them. Join me in prayer. Okay, do I, I want to... Go over here. Might be better to take this approach. Oh, somebody noticed me. Let's try to avoid that guy. Oh, it's one of the archers. I see. But it seems like he's no longer seeing me. Well, the guy did say I should take out the arches he's first, the but he's a word, well, he's a I'm here now. <laughs> For all his ways oh, I justice. can't assassinate them truth, while hanging like this, injustice. apparently. And okay, um, let's see. They have corrupted themselves. There they are like are not his three arches on this ledge. A perverse and crooked generation. So I guess if I time it right... Oh! oh and that's a guy we need to kill, huh? Is he not your father? Who bought you? Has he not made okay, but I think you I can probably take down this guy. And there we go. Alright. Done. Away with you, demon. Have some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. Oh, I will. E tu possa al fine trovare riposo, per corpo e nella mente, requiescat in pace. Well, he didn't give me any new information at all. And yeah, I should probably 
deal with the guards here now. There we go, but don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> okay, done. And I think I got another letter. Maestro, it's with fear in my heart that I write this letter. The prophet has arrived, I feel it. The birds don't act as they should. They swirl around the location. I see them from my tower. I will not attend our meeting as asked. I can't expose myself like this, or the demon might find me. Forgive me, for I am only listening to my voice. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Guide me, Brother A. Well, you are not entirely wrong, if you consider me the demon. Okay, so that's three down and I think one more to go. Um, oh, and the arches on the other towers have disappeared. That's good. But since I'm in the area, I should visit the next viewpoint because it's like one of the neighboring towers, I believe. Yeah, let's climb this tower too. We can see what's going on in this city. <laughs> so, which tower is it? I think it's the one over here. Oh, and we have another guard somewhere. Okay, I think he lost me. Alright, um, here we go. Tor del Diavolo and another glyph. Probably built for medieval defense, the Tor del Diavolo once had a walkway at its summit. The wooden spikes around the top held the boards of the walkway in place. Depending upon who you ask, the name, the Devil's Tower, comes from either the fact that lightning once struck the tower, or that the original owner left on a trip only to come back and find it slightly higher than when he left. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I think I'll go with the lightning. Okay. Um. Oh, I can't. Can't shimmy around here. But probably over here. Okay. Looks like this would work. And yeah, right, it has a glyph, so maybe I should keep my eyes open for glyph. And I think I, I found it. It's on top of this. Yep, it is. Three thefts, hidden by the murders. People only see what they're trained to see. What the organization wants them to see. Okay. Head trick. They made it look like an accident. Houdini and Bess. And he has a piece of Eden as well, I suppose. Houdini's grave. <laughs> he almost beat them. So we have Gandhi again. Gandhi's funeral procession. Dallas archive. Wolves are out hunting. Where, oh where has Jack <laughs> gone? Okay, um, is this now like the assassination of Kennedy? This is a weird mix of topics. Houdini, Gandhi, Kennedy? But okay, I need to enter a password. Oh, I see. I need to align it properly and then I can decipher the code. Well, I guess this over here is the hint. So six and one have to align. There we go. So eight would be three, six would be one, obviously, and seven would be two. Right? Yes. Dallas, Texas, Operation New Frontier. 
HQ has given the go-ahead to extract the resource. Negotiations are over. F is planning to give the vote to everyone. Reason just doesn't work with someone like that. I'll send you the driver. We've trained him with PE2 in our labs. He shouldn't be any trouble. The motorcade route is marked below. Once the target has been downed either by Oswald or Z, use PE1 to stage a distraction. Make some kind of phantom appear around the slope I've marked with an X. Freak people out. The driver will grab PE3 in the confusion. Alright, yeah, this is about the Kennedy assassination. They are really uh, taking all the conspiracy theories they can get, right? Okay, another passcode. Well, this doesn't really add much information at all. Okay. But um, I think we managed to accomplish quite a few things today. Um, I still need to synchronize. Oh, I may need to go on top of this. Yes. Yeah, let's synchronize um, and create a checkpoint. And I think now I'm going to end the episode. We have one more target in this area. Way over here. Um, and we have a bunch of side missions, like a beat-up event, a curry assignment, and we also have another tomb. So I guess next episode we will uh, check out the next target and then finish some of the side quests. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.